Having broken Yuan Zhao, Cao Cao came to tower over the other great generals. Cao Cao attained the position of prime minister and moved south to take the province of Jing. He took advantage of the struggle to succeed Lieutenant Governor Liu Biao and easily took the province. Meanwhile, Liu Bei, who had been staying in Jing province, fled with his loyal followers towards Yanling in order to escape the clutches of Cao Cao. Fearing that Liu Bei would establish a power base, Cao Cao immediately organized a force to hunt down Liu Bei and set out on his trail. That's incredible. I didn't know so many people like that Liu Bei guy. Hmm. Still, there is no purpose in using you and your strength on common folk. I regret to say that as things stand, you will find this pursuit to be rather dull. Right as always. People who are running away are not likely to pit themselves against you, are they? We shouldn't take chances if this guy is worth you chasing him. Uh, there are always surprises in battle. Lord, we need to be careful. I cannot allow Liu Bei to roam free. He must be found and captured, dead or alive. Ah! I knew it! Cao Cao is the devil himself! Forget about the people. The only one I care about is Liu Bei. Liu Bei will not run if the people are being hurt. An effective plan, yet lacking in grace. Do you believe your wits are a match for mine? Your vaunted strength is worthless against me. them in far enough. Now it is time to stop their advance. You had already prepared for this. As usual, Zhu Ge Liang, you amaze me. So you will sacrifice your troops to save the people. I fail to see the logic in that, Liu Bei. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. Come alone, then you will die alone. Get out of here!
So please hold out for just a little longer. Finally, a chance to fight! I will flee. Can anyone stop me? We have captured Liu Bei. Now, rid myself of his meddlesome presence once and for all. That 
was nothing for my abilities. Having regrettably let Liu Bei slip through his fingers, Cao Cao returned to Jing. The Changjiang flowed through the province, and there was a large navy there. Cao Cao intended to assimilate this navy into his forces in preparation for his battle against Wu. In response, Wu resolved to put up a stiff resistance under the leadership of the general Zhou Yu. Joining forces with the fugitive Liu Bei, Wu forces intercepted Cao Cao at a place where the bluffs of the river were red. It was to be the famous Battle of Qi Bi. Though a mere warrior, the Anwei also came to a major turning point. M my lord, that's too much responsibility, isn't it? Oh? So you thought that being my personal bodyguard was going to be nothing more than an easy job? Oh, no, that isn't the case at all, my lord. I know that you have always placed my safety first whenever you go into battle. Consider this. Defeat the enemy in battle before they reach me. By doing that, you are still protecting me. That is why I am giving you this order. Dianwei, from now on you will learn how to command men. <laughs> 